Hello, my name is Bob Kaberski from the Avaya Service Ability Engineering Team. This video covers how to configure the messaging feature on the Avaya 1X Communicator client. Before you begin the client configuration, you'll need to be a provisioned user on your messaging system and have a login and password. Also, depending on how you plan to access your messaging system, you will need the access number and or the URL if you plan to access the system via a web browser. There are additional configuration options available if the client is integrated with Avaya 1X client enablement services, and we will cover all of these within this video. To configure the client, access the gear icon on the top right side of the user interface. Then select Settings and General Settings. The General Settings window will open, and you will need to select Messaging. If the client has not been configured with Avaya 1X Client Enablement Services integration, this is the Messaging Configuration screen that is displayed. Begin by selecting Enable Message Access. Then there are three options available to access your messaging system when selecting the Message Waiting Indicator. You can choose one of the following. The first is Dial This Number, and this is the number the client will use to access your voicemail system. The second option is Start This Application, and as you can see, there's a Browse button available to select an application that will be used to access your voicemail system. The third option is Open Web Page, and the client will use this URL to open your web browser to access your messaging system. Once you've finished making your entries, select OK for the changes to take effect. At this point, you can return to the user interface to access your voicemail system and manage your messages. Now if your client is integrated with Avaya 1X Client Enablement Services, this is the messaging configuration screen that's displayed. The first field is the messaging server where your voicemail account is administered. The next field is a name display for your account. Then there is your mailbox number and password. There is an optional entry for the web subscriber URL. Finally, there's an option to send a notification to your mobile phone. The options are Never Send, Send for any new voicemail messages, or Send when a priority message is received. Complete the remaining fields on the form, which we've covered earlier in this video, and select OK for the changes to take effect. Returning to the user interface, the message icon is now displayed. You can select it to use the visual voicemail feature to manage your messages. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.